oh boy. So I definitely messed up the recording, which is why the spread's already out. Because I stopped myself when I realized the Page of Wands was on the table again. And that's when I, I don't know, I sort of came out of whatever flow I was in. Um, and I realized that my microphone wasn't working. So I just, I took it off. We're going raw camera sound tonight. That'll be interesting. Oh, let's just get into the reading. <laughs> uh, Wisdom of the Oracle came out. Soulmates, a leg up, deep knowing, 41, 34, 43, which is 577. Seven. seven is a very lucky number. Seven is also about um, intuition and wisdom. And five is more of... Um, say more of an uncomfortable energy it's the energy of change soulmates so besides the obvious soulmates can I think that there's like a lot of meanings to this card and I'll read from that maybe I'll just I'll do it now because the fact that it's a five leads me to believe that there's more than just what's on the surface here come on now Harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship fostering personal growth. You are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. Certain people enter your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you will vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you toward them, and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially, too. Soulmates can be friends for life or remain in your life for only a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts. <sighs> so that's the change element. Okay, that's why it's a five. Soulmates is about people in our lives who have impacted us in ways that change us forever. Whether it's a 10 minute experience, a very short experience, or it can be a lifetime. Listen to this. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so that you will finally claim who you were meant to be. Oh my god, yes. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. I feel that way about my cat. <laughs> At least I used to. When I first got him, I'm like, wow, I needed you. Pay attention, for you are in the presence of a soulmate. Come to guide you home to the real you. All right. So soulmates is about strategic alliances, the journey we share with others, mentors, business partners, helpers, employees, creative partners, friends, and strangers. All of these people open doors for you to step through the portal to join you in a harmonic dance of collaboration, commitment, and co-creation. This is what you've been waiting for. Okay. A leg up. So deep knowing is about your intuition and it's about simply know, having the understanding that things play out a certain way. Spirit is working on your behalf. And that's also confirmed by a leg up. The fact that these are two sevens. says a lot so um, this reminds me of like the uh, the uh, the pattern app cycle what's it called not cycle pattern it's called they're called patterns god damn it the pattern connections of destiny so if you have that I currently have that so 
<laughs> I have since November, so I have been keeping a mental record of all the new people who enter my life or, you know, return or just like, you know, take, take some kind of place in my life that I meet. Um, I've been thinking of, and then thinking about how, you know, the future can change. Um, by knowing certain people. Hmm. In an industry of it's who you know, that makes a lot of sense career-wise as well. The energy underneath the Three of Swords. Um, so, I mean, that tells me that underneath there's a lot of healing going on from some from a painful situation. Uh, the Three of Swords is sort of like the scars, but it's also um, the things that make us resilient because it takes a lot of courage and bravery. That's why strength showed up in the middle. It does take a lot of courage to stand up to the things that hurt you and move past them. The Three of Wands in the recent past is basically saying you've packed your bag. You're ready to go. Ready to leave this behind. So, whatever this soulmate is, you are aware that they are here. Hello. In the recent past, there might have been... Maybe that this is, maybe that's what this is saying, the Knight of Cups, Six of Wands, soulmate, right? The cup, the cup represents our emotions. So this is somebody who you can share yourself with authentically and celebrates you. Moving more towards those kinds of people in your life. This could have been about leaving behind, you know, people who didn't either understand you or just people who hurt you, literally. You don't want to be around people who are going to hurt you or did hurt you. Because if they did it once, they'll do it again. It's just a pattern. So now we have in the present, the Page of Wands. This card alone says a lot about the energies of this period of time that we're in right now. I would just recommend you go look up the Page of Wands on like Biddy Tarot or something and, and read about it. The Page of Wands sees potential. That's like that spark of inspiration of all the things that could be manifested, all the things that could um, go their way. It's also a reminder to keep your ideas grounded in reality. So, balance there. This is all while working through your fears. This is not an easy feat. So, six of swords. Look, we got six, six. All right, king, king. Okay. You know, the Six of Swords to me is, is just a validation of moving on to something else. This could be about the past, but since it's sort of coming into this future line here, it almost feels like the energy to me feels like it's going backwards. Like every time this, this fear appears, there's a reason these are swords. These are like our, it's, these are our thoughts. So it could be construed as like leaving behind a, a mental pattern, but I almost see this as the mental pattern is what keeps us stuck. 
We're not grounded. They're in a freaking boat. What's called for now is grounding yourself, but staying optimistic. You know, understand your situation here, but don't lose your sense of optimism for the future. This is about, yes, have your dreams. Man. And then there's like a bunch of people who showed up here in the future. King of Swords, Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles. I, re I don't know what to make, make of this. In the near future, we have... I really don't, I feel so blocked by these three here. Sorry. So sorry. Out of my flow. This full moon has got me really messed up. What are you doing to me? Let me pull a card for each of these down here. King of Swords. could be all the soulmates. This is what I'm thinking. Hear me out. In the future, <laughs> there's, this is possibly a lot of people entering your life. As in each one of these representing a different person. Ooh. What are their zodiac signs? King of Swords. Is that Aquarius? Queen of Cups. Cancer. King of Pentacles. Taurus. I'm going to pause because I want, I do want to figure this out. Okay, we're back. I got one of the three right. King of Swords actually represents Gemini. Queen of Cups is Scorpio. Gemini, Scorpio, and Taurus. Or, generally speaking, it can be... Air, Water, Earth, Sign. Oh, this is going to be fun. If I was going to make personalities for these people showing up right now, we have somebody maybe a little more cool, collected, who's really just honestly this <laughs> using you. I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like to go to the negative place, <laughs> but when it shows up in the future, and if I'm just trying to think about all the possibilities of, like, situations to look out for, Five of Swords is the energy of sort of winning at all costs, and, um, it's not necessarily soulmate material right there. So that's why I say, like, maybe an air sign, I don't know, okay. Uh, Queen of Cups. I love her energy. More of that, please. She's gonna make you feel good. Uh, that was um, Scorpio or Water Signs. Um, and the 
the King of Pentacles, Taurus. Lovely Taurus. Taurus, King of Pentacles feels like friendship energy to me. Clarified by the Three of Cups. All your possible soulmates. Right here. The caring one who wants to see you grow. The quiet one. Oh, I don't want to say quiet. It's Gemini. If anything, the King of Swords is screaming his truth. Hmm. Maybe it's just about somebody who we there were messages in the soulmates about like people who um Damn, why can't I talk today? I'm all blocked up. People who make you more authentic. So this could be somebody who's really just here to teach you a lesson about that. About either standing up for yourself or claiming your own truth. Right? But then once you once you get it, once you pick it up, you see how everyone leaves? They're leaving. So Somebody who comes, a Gemini maybe comes into your life for a short time or it is only around to teach you certain lessons and then they move on. Or, um, the King of Pentacles here, this could be anybody who may, um, make you feel more connected to your community. This is about building something together. This, there's, I mean, there's a lot of stable energy here. There's the Three of Cups celebration. It's the holidays. But it's also... It's people working together. They're, like, making a toast to something. There's some sort of, like, alignment of mission here or something. There's enough for everybody. That This is maybe the, <laughs> the socialist soulmate over here. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, you guys. Okay, the star just fell out. Aquarius. Right. Okay. Clarify the Three of Swords. Four of Wands. The Moon. Eight of Swords. The Lovers. There's Gemini again. Have you um, soaked in the message of the full moon Gemini yet? It's like the cards are saying. Did you get it yet? Did you get the message yet? Because <laughs> Eight of Swords, that's holding yourself back a little bit there, refusing to see what's right in front of you. It's a little bit of, as a response to fear, the moon here. This is uh, not the most productive thing. It's sort of either avoidant behavior or, um, you know, leaking power. <laughs> she's the eight of swords. I mean, she leaks her power. You see, how she's sort of like in this puddle. The Four of Wands is also the Soulmate card. Look at that. That's the Eleven Eleven card. There's something very auspicious about all these signs. Um, it's almost like someone shows up that reminds you of your fears. Because if this Soulmate, people, the theme is about people entering our lives right now. To help us in some way. To, or to change us forever. Hmm. Gemini is a mirror. What's if people are reminding you of things or someone's coming in and and um 
having some kind of impact on you, that's all that's all information that should actually be reflected back at you. It's almost like the, the, one of the messages was how we show up in our relationships is um, a projection of ourselves. This is about not seeing what's what's within you. That this um, this pain, this hurt can be um, transmuted by your own power. You're not seeing your own power to transmute this. That's what's lingering here. All these people are going to show you. Just going to keep showing you more of that. So, Three of Wands, let's see, in the recent past, where did we want to go? Where are we going? Page of Pentacles. Wanting to understand how something works. This is about gathering information. Queen of Pentacles, love it. Seven of Pentacles, okay. Look at all these pentacles. In the recent past, I, I sort of see this, see this as somebody making plans somebody wanting to expand or grow something or move into a direction based on what they know or with the disposition that I don't know enough and I need to learn more I need to learn more and then I can take action with truth leading my heart and nurture something I mean nurture your manifestation like the Queen of Pentacles lives the manifestation that the magician manifests and the way they're going about doing this is not very fast. It's very, very, very slow, but it it's um it's showing up here as deliberate. It's almost like someone's celebrating a win too early. This is in the past. This is in the... So... Yeah, whatever the goal here is, the Queen of Pentacles, the thing that makes you feel really taken care of. Um, maybe it's like what you feel like will, will be good for you. This direction you want to go into is a little bit further away than you realized. Um, you can still enjoy how far you've come. That Seven of Pentacles to me is always great. You've invested all of your effort into this. It's not for nothing. It's just that things take time. All right, let's see in the present. Yeah, things take time as in, like, the universe is trying to put people on your path. And you won't be ready until you learn more about why things work, you know, why things are the way they are. Why did this, why did this hurt have to happen? Why, you know, what does this say about you? What are you, what are you afraid of? What are you, what is keeping you stuck that you're not recognizing within yourself? Because this is about some you holding yourself back from the universe wanting to bring you in these these soulmates here. Does that make sense? It's coming together now. <sighs> Page of Wands is clarified by the Seven of Swords. <laughs> this is <laughs> the energy of like cautious, cautiously optimistic. I like that strength and the Emperor. Okay.
cautiously optimistic, kind of like holding themselves together. The Emperor, Aries, and Leo. Look at that big fire energy like right in the middle. We can just like make a little campfire on this spot. That's cool. That's cool, but it's also like let it simmer. Wow. And the reason for let it simmer, the reason that these people aren't here yet. Look at this. See, I told you this was going backwards. This was going back. This was pointing back. This was pointing to the past, not to the future. Is because there's a lot, still a lot of concerns. There's a lot of fears, things that keep you up at night, a lot of worries. That's interesting. So it's showing up in the present moment. You know, somebody having a lot of confidence, but also definitely struggling mentally. What am I doing now about these? I'm just going to leave that there, I think. This is... Granted, it's been a, a rough weekend, I think, but also... Did you guys feel that? Like, the, the week was just crazy! So... Be cautious. Let's, let's all just be cautiously optimistic <laughs> and stoke the fire. Um... The universe is, is wanting to help here. I think our job now is just to take care of ourselves. Sometimes we have to travel to you know places in our minds that need our attention and that takes time, that takes energy, that takes investment in yourself before other people can even show up. That's what I got. All right. Happy Venus retrograde. <laughs> Have a good night.